Hi everyone! Today I want to share a really fun card that we're going to be making at Stamp Camp on Saturday and it uses the Cake Soiree stamp set and the beautiful Sweet Soiree um, designer series paper. Now the Cake Soiree stamp set is going to be in the very next annual catalog um, and so are the dies that go with it. However, if you purchase the stamp set and dies now while they're in the occasions catalog, they're bundled together at a 10% discount. And in the next annual catalog, they won't be there separate. Um, and also what won't be in the next annual catalog is the beautiful paper. Now there's going to be other beautiful papers, <laughs> but this paper is just so pretty and it, every sheet has some foil on it. You've got silver foil around the flowers. Here's a pretty striped fun little dots. One side has a foil pattern and the other side has a non-foiled uh, pattern, but everything has a shimmer to it if you want it. It's there. And the papers are just one after another gorgeous. Look at that flower. So I just think it's a beautiful um, pack of paper and if you're going to get this set, you might want to grab this paper while you can. So we're going to use it today, but we're not even using the dies today. You don't have to have the dies all the time. Um, they're great. The dies are beautiful. But we're going to use the stamps without them today. And this main image here is actually a piece from the designer series paper. And we're just going to punch that out. So it's beautiful as is. Let's show you how it opens. It's just a little something different. Sometimes you like to send a card that has something unexpected. So your recipient's going to open this up and think that's really fun. So I'm going to show you how to cut this. You're going to take your cardstock and score it at four and a quarter. Oops, let's get the cutting blade out of the way. Four and a quarter and then turn it and score at five and a half. And now you want to line up this very corner in the line of your cutting track at the top and the bottom. Now um, I didn't want to pull out my scoring blade so that it fit all the way so this part doesn't cut but that's okay. If you remove the scoring blade from your paper trimmer, you can get it all the way across, but I just snip the end and don't worry about it. Okay, so now you've got two cards from one piece of cardstock, and then you just go ahead and fold them. Now your inside is just a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which I've trimmed at four by five and a quarter. And let's stamp that. Okay, I pulled colors straight from the Designer Series paper, so I'm using Berry Burst for my greeting. And then I am gonna add some flowers. I'm gonna do a Calypso Coral, that's straight from the paper. I'm going to throw in a Berry Burst outline just for fun. And I overlapped a little bit just for some interest and just a little bit of green. Let's see, you can kind of do whatever you want here. I'm going to throw that over there. The set comes with many little flowers so you can add as many as you like. I think I'm going to put one more down there. Okay. So that's how you decorate the inside. Now let's cut that front. Now how this opens is up to you. You can have it open from the bottom, you can have it open from the top. It really doesn't matter. So mine is I guess going to open from the top. Now your designer series paper you're going to cut at four by five and a quarter and then you're going to cut it on the diagonal as well. But make sure that you're going in the same diagonal as your card front. So I'm going to go top um, left down to bottom right when I cut this one um, in my paper trimmer. If you had gone this way you might think that they would work out but they wouldn't. You'd have to do the opposite. You'd have to use this pattern instead and maybe you like this one better. I kind of like the shimmer on this one so I definitely want this to be the piece that shows. If you made a mistake and already cut it you can simply do this 
and then it would work, but only if you didn't already attach your whisper white piece. Okay, so how did I say I wanted to cut this? <laughs> I want to cut it this way, okay. So line up the two points into your track. A little tip that I have is to not start at the corner. You sometimes push the corner in. So I start a little bit past the corner and come back out and then go across. And then you get a really nice point. Sometimes if you don't do that, you're shoving the paper kind of in that corner and you're pushing instead of cutting. So my pieces line up nicely. Now when I put them down, I actually put this edge all the way to the cut line. And that way when they're together, they're kind of seamless. See, I mean, the images line up perfectly. Now I've cut a belly band, that's just a little piece of cardstock, and I've cut it, at, it's a 12 inch piece of cardstock, and I cut it uh, just two, inch, two and a quarter inches off the end, so it's a little shorter, and it's only three quarters of an inch wide. Now you can put this kind of on either end as well, and rather than score it, what, I just simply place it where I want it to be, and pinch it. And you don't want it to be super tight because you want your recipient to be able to open and close this, <laughs> to be able to slide that belly band off. So kind of maybe let it go just a little bit and um, press down. Okay, so I have cut somewhere, here it is, um, from my layering circles dies, I cut a nice little circle and then we're going to punch from this really fun cardstock. Look at all those beautiful cakes. I'm going to have to sacrifice one of the bottom cakes. To get up to the one you want. So, I could get this one or this one. Let's see. I think I want this one. I might have to cut a little more. I used my two inch circle punch. We're just going to layer that right on top. And then we're going to add some fun ribbon embellishments. I've got a few different ones here. I'm just going to add them all because I can't decide on which one is the best. So this is a really beautiful berry burst with some metallic edges. This is a really nice white taffeta and a little bit of sequin trim. That's fun for that shimmer that goes with the paper so nicely. And I'm just going to trim up the ends a little cleaner. Give them a nicer point. That one looks good. But these two are straight. There we go. And I'm going to layer them right on the back of my little um, cake. I want to stay in the middle. You don't want to get too much adhesive on the sides because you don't want it to stick to your card. So you want the adhesive to go up and down. And then just kind of layer. Maybe I want the sequins in front. There we go. Put a little bit of adhesive on top just to kind of stick them down better. And then I'm going to attach it to my belly band with some dimensionals. And there you have it. Really fun little opening card. Now, like I said, it doesn't matter which side the belly band ends up on. On my original sample, let me find the belly band. It opened on the left, so I just slid the belly band to the left side. And this one, it opens on the right. 
fun and beautiful papers. You really want to grab this paper while you can. As you can see, you don't even need to stamp it. You can just use it right off the uh, page. It's really beautiful. And then put a greeting on the inside and you're all set to go. And there you have it. Just in case you're wondering, this blue is Marina Mist, which is soon to retire, so grab that as well. But maybe you didn't get a chance to grab Marina Mist, and this is still available. Um, the other colors in here, you've got some powder pink, some berry burst, um, a beautiful Calypso coral, so you have lots of color options there, and um, Old Olive. But I just thought that that Marina Mist is quite lovely. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you will check out my blog, bethspapercuts.com. Subscribe to um, my channel and check out my frequent buyer rewards program where I give you points towards earning free stamp sets, um, sharing my hostess rewards with you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.